What is going on everybody and welcome back to some more Starfield Shattered Space here. So uh, we are continuing on here. So we went to the cave in the last episode which was a significant part of the story. Was it's part 6 isn't it? Yeah. So we're going to be moving on to the next um, uh, household now. Um, we're going to go to the Veth Ol uh, one. Um, and we'll do that one afterwards. So uh, yeah, that's kind of where we are right now. What am I staring at? I'm gonna have to go back to walking at a fucking snail's pace. Apology. Sorry, but you will have to get approval before you can buy any weapons from me. Fine, fuck you then. That's the bathroom. Foolish, Victor. The High Council needs access to the power grid if we hope to restore the city. If you are not a member of House Bethal, you do not belong here. Another High Council lackey come begging? I told Lovic no more! Forgive my brother. He has been forgetting his manners of late. Victor, this is a Nazgul's chosen. You recall Lovic sent word. I recall he spoke of a newly anointed promised, and we do not need help, especially from an outsider. You can't continue to refuse the council. You must act. Your inaction is killing you. Precisely, which is why he leaves me no choice but to say this. My nephew, Varric, has left, and until he returns, Victor refuses to assist the council. These are hardly matters for the ears of an outsider. You have no idea what you speak of. You are an outsider. You have no understanding say it again? of the house. Is this not the opportunity you've been looking for, brother? A third party capable of finding Varric. Yes, you said so yourself. Someone with no loyalties to speak of. And if he's become promised, truly his arrival is more than coincidence. <sighs> Serpent, give me strength. You both speak true. Perhaps I have reacted in haste. Tell me, Harbinger, are you well practiced in discretion? <laughs> Such an asshole. <laughs> yes. Good. I can appreciate a monetary understanding, and to ensure you keep your word, you will receive payment afterwards. As yeah. Victoria mentioned, my son, Varric, has left. Essentially, he has abandoned his post, and not only did he turn his back on his house, but the Great Serpent as well. He is a traitor and must be dealt with as such. Victor, surely you don't mean it. He does, Luther. He is allowing his fervent pride and anger to cloud his judgment. 
What my brother is trying to say is that he wishes his own son dead. First, we lose Vashti to that malignant tearing through Dazra. And now you so willingly offer up Varric. As if our house has not suffered enough loss already. Death is the fate to all traitors. I'm a bit, a bit rich after the Crimson Fleet storyline for me to be saying something like that. Of course it would. As someone from the settled systems, you have no concept of what the Great Serpent demands of us. I do not wish Vedic dead, but as head of the Ministry of State, he left me no choice. All must serve. Those who refuse will be met with death. Exceptions show weakness, and we cannot afford to show weakness at a time like this. We have done the same for less. You act as if death is the only answer. What about forgiveness? I will not risk the Ministry's authority on the actions of my own son, even if he is my chosen heir. If the High Council wants my cooperation, I need you to find Vedic and carry out his sentence. And I would ask you to spare him. My brother is acting under impulse, not reason. I have never been more clear. Speak against me one more time, and you will regret it. Varric has a signet ring with House Vithal's family crest. Bring it to me as proof of death. Only then will I grant you access to the power grid. This is ridiculous. See that you get it done. I recommend you start by speaking to patrons of the Herald's Rest. Some of Vedic's associates there may know where he went, but keep in mind anyone who has directly aided him in hiding is an accomplice and shares his fate. If they were, they will pay the price. And remember, absolute discretion. All anyone needs to know is that you are looking for Varric for personal reasons. I will not risk word of his disappearance, getting out before I can say the situation has been handled. I too Harbinger, would ask you spare would Varric. Ask you to spare my nephew. Victor is in no condition to be making such decisions. See with this new headset I can, I don't have to take my headset out, I can just put the mic up and it'll automatically mute my voice, that's pretty cool. I hope so anyway, I haven't actually checked that or I just had me and my mum have a standard combo, it's just a normal conversation. But I just don't like having a voice in videos or anything like that. Because, I just don't. <laughs> Some cosa? Can I get you anything? This is what I have. But I don't want to your shit. This bar is the only Varric. Hmm. Depends on who's looking for him. And I, of course. That's too easy. Sounds be like you're here on official business then. Truth is, I haven't seen him for a few days myself. But if you find him, tell him he better come check on his tab. I know he's good for it, but since he gave Eggy permission to use it, it's sky high. I'm sorry, but when it comes to house business, 
I stay as far away as possible. Ah, Varric always was one to act on impulse. I feel really guilty. Hmm. I wouldn't put it past him. I know a lot more people than just you who feel the same. I'm sorry. I the really can't one? help you. Unless a drink might ease your troubles. Good luck on your search. Bruh. You seem to be doing well. I'll drink to that. <coughs> oh, what do you want? Can't you see I'm busy? No, not really. You and me both. The worst thing that can possibly happen happens, and then he disappears. I mean, come on, we're supposed to be friends. Mm. Is there ever a good reason to abandon your friends? You'd think B would at least be commiserating with me. But I'm suddenly too drunk to deal with. <laughs> Some friend she is. All she cares about is Varric. Right? That's what we do. When we lost people to the so-called incident, we banded together. I just want Varric to show up so things can get back to normal. Whatever that is. Did he trust me? <laughs> I just don't know anymore. Hmm. What's the point? He's just gone. I want to help, but I really can't think of anything. I wish I could tell you there was. We may have been friends, but some things you just keep to yourself. Wait, wait. I think I remember something now. Tain. He mentioned talking to Tain one day about getting off-world, seeing the settled systems. We never thought he was serious, and even if he wasn't... Hmm. Tain still might know something. Tain's a regular. I'm sure he'll be by any minute if you just want to take a seat. Just trying to survive one more day. The great serpent saved Dazra from sin. You will see. It's probably the big girl now. Another day in Dazra. Hey. Aren't you that outsider made promise that showed up here recently? Impressive. Yep. Yep. Since these people really aren't into strangers, especially in times like these. I'm an outsider myself. It's hard to get into the whole giant snake thing. Tell me about it. I've been toting stuff back and forth for these people for years and still get the cold shoulder most places I go. But then these people lose half their city and you show up and suddenly it's divine intervention. Hey, you play your cards here, right? You win them over. You've already been dealt a winning hand as it is. 
Anyway, enough about that. What can I do you for? That's so. Well, I guess that depends, Harbinger. Who wants to know? Well, in that case, I can't help you. Although, let's just say after what went down here, my retirement's looking imminent, and I haven't exactly been saving up for a rainy day. So if you're feeling generous, maybe we can help each other out. How much do you want, pal? What's a thousand credits? Oh, okay, nice we'll to pay see you. We operate on the same wavelength. I'm pretty sure he's heading into the highlands. Just not sure where. But I do have the means to track him. So you just say the word and we're off to the races. Okay, After let's you. Go Once we're outside of Dazra, I'll fire up my tracker and fingers crossed it'll lead us right to him. Just head out the west gate, should be the fastest route. Oh, nice. I got you your favorite from the meat. Oh, he's like right behind me. Hey there, pal.
trees over there. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Definitely up here. So frustrating. The oh, I remember this in the main fucking game. It really fucking frustrated me then. And this was it's, it's the worst thing. I, if in my opinion, this is the worst thing about the game. He's definitely up there, isn't he? Let me go up and around real quick. Off, man. So frustrating. Alright. You know what? I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.